Hi guys, I'm Kaz from Gem Lotus Jewelry. I'm going to show you today a really easy project on how to make these super cute Christmas fridge magnets. So you can start getting those lists ready, all your groceries and present ideas. This is such an easy project. If I can do it, you can easily do it too. So let's get started. Hi guys, so let's get started. For this project, you will need a festive silicon mold, pots, stirring sticks, and some pigments. Um, I'm using a quick setting resin today. I'll link the product in the description below. So I've got three colors that I'm keen to use. My resin's got a slight pink base to it, so I know that they're gonna come out kind of pastel colors. So I'm gonna divide my resin into three pots. And this one's gonna be my pink pot. This resin sets a bit lighter than these colours, so I'm not adding anything to it. They're just going to be some cute pastel coloured festive magnets. I'm going to send them to my family so that they can start pinning their Christmas lists on the fridge. Don't forget, if you want to find me online, I am Gem Letters Jewelry on Instagram or gemletters.com. Do send me any pictures of your finished project so I'd love to see how you got on and this project is so quick and easy I'm literally just going to pour this resin into some molds don't forget if you want to see loads more projects like this subscribe to my channel got loads of cool projects and I'm going to be posting quite regularly. Okay, great. I'm going to leave those to set now and then I'll come back and show you how we get on. Okay, so I think our pieces are nice and set now so we can just quickly pop them out of the moulds. There you go. How cute are they? And then the next thing will be to give them a little bit of a sand. So don't stress too much about this bit. It's just sometimes when they come out of the mold, they've got a bit of a sharp edge. Um, so it's just about getting that off really. I'm just using a thousand grit sandpaper, um, which you can use. Wet and dry is great. And so the very last thing that you want to do, make sure your pieces are dry, is get yourself some of these, which you can get online in loads of different places, just these small magnets, and just glue them on the back. You can use any kind of glue, or if you want, you can mix up a bit of the resin and just use that. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this project. See you guys soon.